Okay, you guys, welcome to our More Than Conquer Monday night team call. Thank you guys so much for being on this call. I have just been so excited about this call for over a month um, because we have this amazing speaker that is going to just really hit it home for us tonight. I'm so excited. We have, um, he is, he is a founding president of the John Maxwell team. Um, he is an executive coach, so incredibly awesome, just accolades right here. He's a speaker. He is um, an author of the book, Boss vs. Am I back? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Can someone chat and um, text in the chat box if they can hear me, if I'm here? Am I here? I hear you. Okay. Y'all can hear me. I can't see anybody. I'm here. Okay. Oh my goodness, you guys. Of course this would happen. I'm so sorry. Dave, I'm so sorry. I am going to um, let you just take it away. I want you to have as much time as you can and for us to be able to ask questions at the end. Um, so I'm going to just unmute myself cool. and figure out what's going on with my computer. But here we go. Dave Ferguson, right. you guys. Here we go. Oh, hello, everybody. Uh, good evening. Um, so uh, I think the last thing I heard was when you put my book up. So um, thanks for that great intro. And, you know, it's interesting. I was thinking when um, – when you and I decided to schedule this call, I was thinking how when I first met you, and I'm thinking it was at a beach body event like five years ago, right? Must have been five or six years ago, right? Yeah, it was um, Charlotte Super Saturday with Todd. Right. Okay, and I, Todd and Alicia. That's right. And so um, I spoke at that event, and I met you. Um, I don't think your husband was there at that event that time. Maybe he was, but I don't think I met Matt. But you know, one of the things. I, you know, just like people follow me on Facebook, I'm selective of who I've, you know, on social media, who I follow. And I have followed you two, and I've followed um, how you've grown your business. I've admired that. I've, I've followed how you've grown your lives together. I truly admire that. But you know me a little bit in the way I think about faith. I've, I've watched you both grow in faith so much that I'm the kind of guy who likes to pay things back. So I picked, I was the one who really reached out to Jess and go, I want to do something for you and your team because I'm just, we need to talk about your growth and what you two have done as a team and what you're doing as a team with, with the people that are on this call. And, and also what's the full potential of everybody that's on this phone. And so, you know, for me, that's my sweet spot. I do this every day. I don't talk on Zoom every day, but, you know, um, I just spoke a few hours But the what you've done is the example that you are for other people, okay? Uh, and the humility that you show as young people is such a great leadership characteristic. So please keep doing that because that is one of the things that I get asked all the time by people. What's the number one thing you hear that leaders need to be more of? And, and it's always humble. And in this business of what you guys do, it takes a lot of humility to be successful. Many of you have great stories, I'm sure, okay? Um, you know, I can't tell you my story today because we don't have time, but, but um, you know, Jessica heard my story five years ago. It hasn't changed much. It's just I just continued to grow. And that's what I want to talk to you about today is that, you know, growth doesn't just happen. Many of you probably have young kids. Maybe some of you even have babies. You know, try not feeding that child for a couple of days. They will not grow. So my question to all of you is, what are you feeding yourselves? What are you feeding yourselves? Besides, you know, the shakes. I know about, I, I still use those shakes sometimes. But what are you feeding yourselves, right? And so growth will not happen. We have to get highly intentional about our growth. And we've got to know where we want to go. And so I want to do this little exercise with you, if you'll all play along with me. And, and um, you know, if you want to, you know, uh, you know, I want to take you through this exercise. And I want you to write it down or say it to yourself or whatever the answers. But 
I want you to imagine, I love the beach, so I need You know, a lot of my work is on the phone, and so I can be at my beach house and talk for six hours. On the beach, the things you see, right? And some of you see, can unmute yourself if you want to say something and mute yourself back. That'd be great. But um, you know, what are the things you see when you're at the beach? Gorgeous waves and sand. Okay. What else? Beautiful people. Beautiful people. Yeah, most of the time. Sometimes. <laughs> well, people are beautiful. That's right. That's a beautiful little girl out there with you. Hi. She's got a nice smile, too. She got her mama's smile. That's good. Um, what else? What, you ask, she can answer. What does she see when she stays at the beach? Your daughter there, what does she see when she sees? What, what, ask her. What, do you, what do you see at the beach? Share, what do you see this week? This weekend, what do you see? The sunset. The sunset. Sunset, beautiful, right? And you see what else? Sand? Yeah. Did you see any shells? You see any birds? I saw a stingray. You saw a stingray, really? Cool. What beach were you at? The water. Oh, wow. Awesome. So you must have been in the Gulf. Anna Maria. All right, beautiful. Um, and, and so what else? You see birds? Do you see any fish jump this weekend when you were there? Or anybody catch a fish? Do you see people sit, do you see anybody do you see any beach chairs or umbrellas? Uh, right, so all of those things you see at the beach. What else? Anybody else see anything else at the beach? You see, if you go to the beach, you see all those things. And when I used to go to the beach years and years and years ago, before I was coached and mentored by some pretty, you know, good, good people in this business, I used to see the same thing that we just saw, that we just talked about, things you mentioned. And, and many of you probably thought of the same things, maybe a few more things. But then I started to You see, I was growing and I was doing well. I had a great career. I, I really did. I had a great 21 year career, most of it on Wall Street. And then I started this business 11 years ago. I, I, I really um, tried to have an abundant mindset. Um, and, and I just kept hitting walls. You know, I had excuses. I hit walls, reasons I didn't want to do that to be humble, you know, all of those things. And then I started looking further out. And so I didn't really look at the beach anymore. I started looking at the horizon, right? And here's the thing about the horizon, you can't find the end of it. You can't find the end of it. You can always see sand and birds and fish and people and chairs and umbrellas and coolers and all of that stuff. But it's the things we can't see that we fear. None of those things, maybe the stingray you'd be a little scared of, maybe if you were in the water, but none of those things you mentioned would create fear in most people. But the horizon, that creates fear in our lives and our business. And when you can really start looking out there is when you can really get intentional about growth. So it's not, you don't just say, I'm growing, I'm setting goals, I'm setting New Year's resolutions. You get highly intentional about your growth because remember, growth just doesn't happen. And you have to have a plan to grow. So you have to ask yourself these big questions. You have to ask yourself, where do you want to go in your life? What do you see out there? See, when I, when I first um, did this exercise at the beach, when someone did this exercise with me at the beach for the first time, all of my business was in the United States. And I was very successful. Now, Jessica and, and her husband can tell you because they follow me on social media. Um, in the last five years, it's been hard. I have been all over the world doing this business. And I talk to people on the phone every day in many, many continents. And that was because I started to really get direction in where I want to go and look out there and create an abundant mindset. And so you got to figure out where you want to go. My family, I'm going to grow my spiritual side, I'm going to grow my finances. You can say that, but until you get intentional 
about it, and I mean highly intentional, which means nothing gets in the way of it, it's very, very hard to hit the big balls. Um, and so you have to ask big questions. You have to do it now. You got to face. Um, and 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 so many people grow by accident. Um, and so you really have to change the mindset around that to say, I am going to grow with intention and by intention. And so facing the fear factor is, you know, a lot of people have a lot of fears. And we all have fears of something, even myself. Fear of failure, no one likes to fail. But when you fail, it's not a failure if you learn something from it, right? You know, my, my John Max wrote a book years ago called Sometimes You Win, Sometimes You Learn. Evaluate the failure. And you have to evaluate your failure. Um, and so fear of trading security from the unknown, that's almost we don't want to take a risk. In that position. You don't have to go out and buy a ton of product or anything like that. Uh, what about fears of fear of this thing? I know many of you have probably had some tremendous weight loss and fitness stories and maybe even other stories health-related stories um, that people need to hear. People need to hear. Um, I, I was with... And I've coached this guy for a while, and he, maybe a little over a year, and he has a tremendous story. I mean, he has a miracle story. And he's not in the coaching and speaking business, but he has a miracle story. And he wants to tell people, story i'm going to start telling the story from your it's something that is really so soon it's just going to be natural for us so it's just going to happen I show up every day grow business But you can't assume that. For creating your own book plan, it's the greatest book I've ever read. And if you know me, I read a book a week. A book a week. Um, and, and so all of my book, okay, um, this book is called And it just happens to be by John Maxwell. If you go through this book, one chapter at a time, and you answer the questions honestly at the end of the chapter, you will have a personal growth plan for yourself. Absolutely. You will have a personal growth plan for yourself. So knowledge um, you can get from this book. So you can't use that excuse. That can't be a gap for you. Then there's a timing gap. It's not the right time for me to do this. It's not the right time for me to do this business. It's not the right time for me to improve my relationships. Not the right time for me to improve my. You don't, you don't, want, to, you don't want to ask them for fear of rejection. Um, so the mistake that you're afraid, afraid you'll make a mistake or not do it the right way or not present it the right way or not be successful in your, in your, in your uh, conversation with them. The fifth growth gap is perfection. And this is a this is something I've suffered from in the past. Is that um, it's got to be the perfect setting for me to take the lead. And tell ourselves, um, you know, how many people say that on Mondays? I don't feel like going to work. I just don't feel like making some calls today. I don't feel like exercising. Right? Um, so you, the inspiration gap. Is I don't. Comparison gap. This is pretty big business you're in. When people really start comparing themselves to others, it's 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 just gonna stop you in tracks. Always gonna be somebody ahead of us. There's tons of people ahead of this business. And I have to compare myself. I stop from the I have some of them as mentors. The last gap, the eighth gap, is the expect, expectation gap. Um, 
that's really, I thought it would be easier. I thought this business would be easier, so it's not, I'm not going to continue doing it. And all of these growth traps, um, all of these growth traps, the things that you can do in this business, there are multimillionaires in your business. There are multimillionaires in your business. So I, so I think I think one of the things we, you have to ask yourself is why not me? Why not me? And you're floated with mentors in the company that will help you and tell you exactly what you need to do to get there. Um, so be careful of these growth traps because they trap us in um, mediocrity, and no one wants to be average and mediocre. If you're on this team, I know you don't want to, and you've got good leadership, you've got good mentors, you've got people, um, you've got people that um, that really want to help you be successful. Just like the reason I I volunteered myself, it's it's you know, it's nine twenty where I am on the East Coast right now, um, past my time because I'm up at four, so I'm usually in bed right now. But I really felt called um, to to really throw myself out there tonight to, you know, for the team, because I've watched this young couple um, and they've impressed me and we need more examples like that. I'm sure some of you are the same examples. And so I will, um, I'll stop there. Um, next time you go to the beach, look further out. And if you have to schedule a trip to go this weekend, go do it. Maybe you probably live fairly close if you're down that uh, area there. Um, um, in the lower, I guess the Gulf area, right? Um, if you're, you know, so take a ride to the beach and look at it a little differently. And you know, it, it was beautiful. Um, I don't know your name here. You've had your little daughter in the picture there, but um, you know, what, what a, what a gift for her to listen to that because um, they don't get that in school. This stuff they don't teach in school anymore. So uh, remind her next time we take her to the beach. Um, so I'll, I'll take, um, I'll take questions from anybody that wants them now. So Jessica, I don't know how you want to handle that, but. Yeah, does any, I mean, we have a few minutes. Um, we obviously want to respect everybody's time and um, I'm going to have to listen to this recording because for some reason I got kicked off a hundred times and I couldn't shut my computer down because then the meeting would end. So um, does anybody have anything they want to say? Does anyone have any comments or questions? Um, it, it was Super Saturday a few years ago where he spoke and he rocked my face off and then I kind of like geeked out when he uh, accepted my friend request after a couple days. And um, I normally don't, you know, just ask anybody to be my friend, but I just felt like he, I just connected with him on so many levels and it was, um, I think it was like my first Super Saturday. I mean, I was a brand new coach, so it was like four years ago. Um, and so okay. it was incredibly inspiring. And so Dave, it, it, thank you so much for coming on this call. I know that you are such a busy person and, um, it's, it is definitely an honor and complete honor to have you on here. Um, you just inspired me. Well, I, it, was, it, was an honor, it was an honor to do it. So thank you. Thank you. So anybody have anything they want to say? Um, I can't really see anyone's face, but you can unmute yourself and chat or, Uh, could you hold the book up one more time? I didn't catch it earlier. All right, so it's called Boss or Leader, and I'll t if you, I'll tell you this all. If you all, if anybody wants the book, um, my email address is Dave at a s k coach c o a c h Dave dot com. If you want a copy of the book, I'll discount it for you and. I'll even sign it for you and ship it to you. Thank so, you so much. It'll wow. Be, it'll, be, it'll be $20 total, shipping and everything. Wow. And okay. Personalize it for you. Just tell me the name you want in it. Um, um, so if you just do that, David, ask coachdave.com. Just, you know, just mention that you were on this call tonight. Um, and if anybody, you know, just do it in the next day or two. Um, this is a resource guide, just like the 15 Laws book I talked about. It's a resource guide. My website is, is livingtolead.com, L-I-V-I-N-G-T-O-L-E-A-D.
you can also it's also askcoachdave.com so that'll work as well um and so um but if you order it on there you're going to pay i'm telling you to feel free to email me we'll get it out to you um and um it's a good resource guide for some of you um and if any of you have teams it's a great book for you to go through one chapter a week with on, on a call like this you can go through very quickly chapters are short the book's only 113 pages um it's a second edition it was a best seller in the first edition so um you know any other questions i just i just looked you up on amazon it looks like you have multiple books right yeah okay so, yeah, but I'm, so not the, I'm not the pastor though there's a pastor out there that i you know i do yeah. sermons, but i'm not a pastor okay okay i saw that too since probably the majority of us are moms and we're, you know, we're struggling with that balance, that beautiful balance of working from home and pleasing our husbands and pleasing ourselves and, you know, filling up with the children. Like, what would be your best, from, from books that you've read or books that you have written yourself, what would you recommend? Well, you know, so my book's going to help you with, you know, things like um, how do I show up? Do I show up in this world as a boss or do I show up as a leader? And it really, you can self-analyze yourself through this book as you talk about each topic. So, you know, there's chapters on perseverance. Uh, there's chapters on vision, you know, clearing up your vision, time for an attitude adjustment, inspiration equation, finding a purpose that matters, never compromise your character. So in each one of these, at the end of each chapter, there's some questions you ask yourself. Um, and so it's a good resource guide for that. I tell you the 15 laws of growth book I told you about. Hands, I teach out of that book and it's one of my, it's, it's really from a personal growth standpoint for people, it's ideal. Um, and you know what, you, you moms, like, I apologize, um, but because I love, I know the one thing people like to hear more than anything else is their own name. Um, but um, this is a great book that you just take one at a time and go through at the pace that you can have. But you know, you moms, um, you have a greater responsibility. Um, you have a greater responsibility. You've been given some great gifts and, and one of them is the gift of a motherhood. Um, and so I always look at it as, and, and you know, I won't get too, too much into my faith conversation here because I don't want to just, you know, I don't want to upset anybody, but um, I talk a lot about my faith and you know, um, he gave me gifts. Shame on me if I don't use them and share them with other people, including children. Okay, shame on me because if I'm going to give him anything back, it's living to my full potential and bringing other people with me. Hence why I'm on this call today. True success doesn't come with everything I have and everything I've accomplished. True success for me comes when I bring people with me. And that's what you have to do in your business. It's not about you. Bring people with you and you're going to grow. That is good. Can you tell can you tell me that quote again? What you just said? True success. True success. Um, it's not really a quote. I just say it. But you know, true success doesn't come from all the things I have and all the things and all that and the money and the cars and the homes and all that. That's not true success. True success is when I reach down and I bring other people with me and help them become successful. And you do, you, your business I'm in, you know, right? We grow our business and we coach other people to be great too. And what a business to be in if you think about it. I didn't do that in corporate America and I had a very successful 21 year corporate America career. I didn't really feel like I was living a purpose. I didn't feel like I was completely using the gifts I was given. I didn't feel like I was bringing a lot of people with me. Man, but when you get in the business that we're all in, and you're in the same business I'm in, we just have different stages. Um, you, you, you know, I almost look at it as an obligation. An obligation. You have an obligation to be successful to your family, for your kids, for yourself, for your future, for everybody. And so that's the, that's the piece when I go back to what I talked about, about getting highly intentional. You got to know why. You know, I know there's a lot of books out there on finding your why, why am I doing this and all that. 
you don't really need to read those. You just got to look at what you have on your life to be grateful for, the gifts that you were given, and why you absolutely have to be success, as successful as you can. Why you need to start looking out at that horizon. Okay, so I'm going to, now I'm excited because I was kind of nervous. I didn't know what to expect. But October 6th, here in Fort Wayne, Indiana, I am going to a Live to Lead seminar. Oh, cool. Put on by a friend of ours at the Fort Wayne Country Club. Mm -hmm. So, and we've been friends with him for a long time. And he just got into the John C. Maxwell leadership thing. And right. he's like on the board or something. I'm not real sure where he's at. I just know he's up there. Mm -hmm. um, so, I probably know him. David Lombard. I heard the name. We're up to 20,000 people now. So, yeah, he's one of the top psychologists here in Fort Wayne. Oh, good. Awesome. Right. So, um, and he made the comment that he had went to one of the seminars when he was going through, I guess, the, 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 the learning process thing. And Mr. John had given them a Bible at the end. And when he brought him up on stage, he had him, he was supposed to read a certain book of the Bible. Well, he was kind of upset because when he went to like the, the lobby to read this Bible, there was a page in it that was like messed up. So he was kind of hurt that the Bible was messed up. <laughs> well, it happened to be a certain place that he needed to read. And when he read it, it helped him put the whole perspective of every, all the training he had just went through in. So that Bible went from being damaged to being the most valuable thing he owned. Wow, that's awesome. So, but now listening to you, now I'm even more excited to go <laughs> to this yeah, with him. Yeah, Live to Lead's a great event. I go to the live one in, um, in, in Atlanta, so I'll be at the live event. you got some good speakers this year, really good speakers. So we get to go, well, we're going to go You'll see this the weekend with him this weekend, so he can kind of give us, well, me some pointers as far as coaching. Awesome. Um, and then we actually get to go to the seminar, too. So now I'm super excited with listening to you. <laughs> yeah, Live to Lead's a good event. It is. It's a good speaker event. I think Dave Ramsey's there this year, and uh, yes, sir. Uh, is, it Sh uh, is it Cheryl Bachelor? She used to be the CEO of Popeyes. Uh, uh, yes, sir. And then, um, and of course, there. John. Yes, sir. <laughs> um, and I can't remember who else, but um, be good speakers. The Warwick or Mr. Warwick Dunn. Oh, Warwick Dunn. Oh yeah, he used to play for the Atlanta Falcons. He's done some amazing things since he left football. What he's done around in Atlanta for for uh, for families is just he's got an amazing story. What a great you know uh, legacy he's worth, really working on. Um, so I'm gonna try to get information there to bring back to Laura and Jeff so they can use it in the groups. Yeah, you'll have four speakers there to talk. We'll talk about four different things. I'm sure Warren will tell his story. Um, <laughs> You know, Cheryl talks a lot about leadership. Dave Ramsey's probably going to talk about maybe financial leadership. I don't know um, what their topics will be. Of course, John, it'll, it'll definitely be leadership based with John. So there'll be some good stuff. Good stuff. And I'm sure maybe, uh, is it you say Dave Lombard? Yeah, sir. He, he'll be there. Since he's the host, he might do some form of teaching too. It just depends how they set it up. Right. It's a good event. It's a good event. You know, those kind of things in your, you know, you, you, um, there's good events to go to out there. Now, I always say to people, you don't want to be event junkie because a lot of people just go to events and they never do anything with what they get at the event, you know? And so you want to, when you come back from that event, you need to set your intentions on what you learned. Take some of the things you learn and say, I'm, here's the two or three things I'm going to, I'm going to fully intend to do now. Well, I, right? I just ordered that book that you talked about as you were talking about the 15 um Invalu invaluable laws of invaluable growth. i just ordered that so i'm waiting on that that'll get here hopefully either before i go with dave lombard this weekend <laughs> well, if your Amazon <laughs> brought, your Amazon, maybe you'll get it in a day or two <laughs> yeah absolutely so yeah. hopefully i'll have it before i go meet with him this weekend all right good anything else anybody else have any questions i'll take them if you got them if you got me up i'm excited now i won't be able to go to sleep anyway <laughs> Nice shorts.
Alusha? Hello. Am I there? I'm here. here. Hello. Is that it? I'm here. Okay. I'm just saying, Matt, I like the yellow shorts. Oh, dude. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> He meant he meant to go work out prior to the call, but he didn't want to miss it. So. <laughs> All right. Cool. Hey, we again. We just thank you so much for for the opportunity to have somebody of your caliber just come in and give expertise and just. Man, everybody needs a you know needs somebody to believe in more than they believe in themselves, and to have somebody like you come on and and just speak you know speak some life um, into each one of us. It just speaks such high volumes of you and your character, man. We are just so grateful for the opportunity just to sit under some of your teaching. All right. Well, it was great to be here. I just tell everybody, man, get intentional and stay intentional. Absolutely. And you can have anything you want. Awesome. Well, thank you guys. And don't forget to email him. Um, I'll post his email in our coach page if you want to get his book. I read it in like four days. It's all highlighted and marked off. This is a great one for your team to do, especially maybe for your leaders. Um, so if that's it, then we will, yes, great call. So thank you, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much, Dave. You're amazing. Go get some sleep and I will see all you guys later on. Bye. Thanks. Yay, see ya.